Jesus Christ was born into this world, not of man. He was not the son of Joseph, but the son of God. By the Holy Spirit, he entered into his own creation. And here he served us. He walked in his ministry for three and a half years. And then he took the sin of the world upon himself. And in the process of doing all of this, he fulfilled almost all the scriptures of the Old Testament prophets. Those which are remaining pertain to his future return. And there are very few that remain. And Jesus took our place, my place and your place, because the wages of sin is death. He took our place on that cross. And because he was without sin, even though he was tempted in every way, the same way that we are, he never sinned. And therefore, being fully God and fully man, being the divine God-man, took my place on that cross. I deserve that death. You deserve that death. And all human beings deserve that death because we are separated from a holy God by our sin. One lie is enough. The Bible says every liar will have their part in the lake of fire, the lake which burns with fire. So we need to understand how high God's standards are. One more I'm going to give you is, if we look at a woman to lust after her, Jesus said, you have committed adultery already in your heart. You see how high God's standard is. But he made a way for us. Jesus took our place on that cross. He shed every drop of his blood so that we could be forgiven because the life is in the blood and the wages of sin is death. And so God made a way, giving his only son for you and me. It's the greatest love story ever told. And Jesus was buried and he rose the third day, conquering death in the grave so that you and I have a promise in him that like he was risen from the dead, even if we die, we will live. Hallelujah. And he ascended to the right hand of the Father on the 40th day after his resurrection, where he is preparing a place. He sent the Holy Spirit so that we could receive. It. And so this is the message of the cross. And we must be born again. We must die to ourselves and rise up in newness of life, dying to the desires of our own hearts and rising up in newness of life to Jesus Christ. That it is no longer me that lives, but Christ who lives in. Jesus is there preparing a place for us. The Holy Spirit is here ministering to us, to those who believe and are baptized, those who repent and turn from their sin. And Jesus will come again and he will collect his bride, his body, his church to himself. And the wrath of God will be poured out on the children of disobedience. God bless you guys.